Hello and welcome to Business Matters. I'm Rahul Tandon. How are you? I'll be joined throughout the program by Andy Shea, who's an independent economist in Shanghai. Andy, I know it's good morning to you. Andy, give us a Chinese perspective at the moment of where they view that sort of trade deal with the United States. They must be angry at the U.S. stance on Huawei and not just the implication that's had in the United States, but globally as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that doesn't look good uh, because the, since the trade uh, phase one deal was signed, uh, the uh, U.S. government has uh, put uh, more Chinese companies on the embargo list, uh, and then there's uh, this uh, latest uh, latest uh, war on internet companies. Uh, the U.S. government government has given TikTok forty forty five days to sell itself or be shut down. So I think that uh, in this kind of environment, Beijing doesn't want to look weak and uh, caving in, buying a lot of stuff uh, while getting beaten, beaten left and right like that. So I think that doesn't look good. But if nobody wants to look good, Andy, how are we going to get a compromise here? Well, I think it's uh, very difficult. I I think that the China U.S. decoupling is inevitable. It's uh, uh, it's just uh, that uh, when you have a so uh, such a huge difference in geopolitical perspectives. So I think that uh, uh, it's just uh, uh, I think what Beijing is doing is stalling, buying time, uh, because Beijing still needs technology stuff from the United States, and uh, and uh, they are investing heavily to catch up. Once they are confident, then they'll let it go. I think that that's what what's going to happen. So the world is dividing uh, along uh, into two camps. One is uh, uh, China trading block, and the the other is uh, the U.S. trading block. They, you know, they, that doesn't look good. You know, we're we're living we will be living this kind of world for a long time. There we go. 